Senior correspondent John Miller, former assistant director of the FBI, is joining us this evening. And John, this investigation of Catherine Russell, what are you hearing? Well, she hasn't been accused of anything, and they're not calling her a suspect. What they're doing is trying to, trying to get through to what did she know, when did she do, know it, as Elaine uh, reported. But there's a couple of things. There's a phone call that uh, is between her and her husband after the bombings. They want to know what was that phone call about. There's a phone call after it's on television showing his picture and his brother's picture. They want to know what was that phone call about. It's critical that they understand did she have foreknowledge of the bombings, no knowledge at all, and when did she learn that they were the suspects? Now, the FBI has sent a team to Dagestan, where the Sarnaev brothers are from. What's coming from that investigation? A couple of interesting things. I mean, two people who have, have emerged who are of extreme interest in them. One is a former Canadian boxer named William Plotnikov. His story, his life story, basically tracks Tamerlan's almost exactly. He's a, uh, he's a fighter. He's a convert uh, from Russia, moves to Canada goes back to Dagestan and wants to fight against the Russians in Chechnya. He's um, ultimately killed in that fighting, but we know that he and Tamerlan were in touch on social media and were in Dagestan and Chechnya in and around the same time. The second is another individual named Mahmoud Nadal. He's uh, another person who's fighting against the Russian regime there. He ends up being killed in a hostage situation where he tosses out a hand grenade after releasing the hostages. And the FBI kind of looking at Tamerlan's trip is coming to the place where, was that a place where he was radicalized, or is that a place where he just said, it's too rough over here with these people getting killed, I'm going to go back to America and try something on, on home turf. A lot of leads to follow. John, thanks very much.